I really like fresh fish, but smoked fish is even better. And these three fat ones are ones that I grew and smoked myself, and they tasted, they were beautiful. And a lot of you also like fish. In fact, the number of us that like fish has been growing for years and years and years. But contrary to the proverb that there's plenty of fish in the sea, well, there isn't. So if we want to continue to eat more fish, we have to farm those fish. But there's a problem. The number of sites that exist where you can reliably and productively, without stuffing up the environment, farm fish, well, there's not that many of them. And in Victoria, due to climate change, increasing temperatures, changing in rainfall patterns, a bunch of the sites where it used to be viable to farm fish, well, you just can't anymore. So and that's why this property is such an incredible opportunity. This used to be the Ballara goldfish farm, but unfortunately for the current owners, as demand for fish as food has continued to go up, demand for fish as pets has gone down. So they've wound the business up and now the property's for sale. It's 300 acres for 3 million. And in this region, at $10,000 an acre, that seems to be less than its undeveloped land value. That means that three generations of investment in its aquaculture, infrastructure and development, well, if we buy the property, we get that for free. Now that sounds like a really cool deal, and it is. So cool, in fact, that you might think you might want to buy this property out from underneath me. That would not be cool. But if you did, you'd need someone like me. I grew up on the family farm. I've worked on a whole stack of different properties, different types of properties, and through that gained a whole stack of hands-on practical skills. I attended the Australian National University, completing a Bachelor of Science, majoring in ecology with honors. I then became an environmental and agricultural consultant with most of my work done here in Australia, but a little bit done in India as well. I am a self-taught structural engineer and a member of the International Society of Aquaculture Engineering. In short, I've got all the skills that we need to convert this property from producing goldfish to producing trout. What I don't have is the capital. We need $4 million to buy the property and convert it to trout production. We think we've got about half of that, but we're looking for some more partners and investors to join us on this journey so that we can convert it to trout production. But unlike any other trout farm, it will have zero nutrient pollution. We've got two sorts of investment options. One is a fixed income investment option where you'll get a regular uh, income from, from your principal. We'd also like to hear from people who would like to take an equ equity stake in the farm and in its operation. Also, there's 100 acres of bush, 100 acres of pasture, two houses, a whole stack of shedding, distributed three-phase power, most of which we won't need. So we're opening that up to other people who might want to start their own small to medium scale farming or value adding or, or craft based businesses alongside what we'll be doing with the fish. I'd love to give you some more details on the investment side of things, but the Australian Securities and Investment Com Commission have these rules that say we're not allowed to advertise for investments, but we are allowed to seek expressions of interest. So if you want to express your interest in either investing with us or working alongside us on the farm, then there's our contact details on the screen here, my phone number, also in this description down below, you can get in touch and express your interest. Another thing we'll be doing that is if a bunch of you are asking the same question and it requires or would benefit from a detailed answer, then I'll be producing a video to answer those questions and then publishing it here. Uh, so if you want to see those as they come out, you might want to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. And we'll also be doing a videos regularly on, on how we're progressing with the project and the farm as we're getting it started. So if you want to see those videos, you know, also make sure you subscribe. So yeah, and until then, I look forward to answering your questions and being interrogated in the comment section. Oh, one more thing, uh, another rule that is put on us by ASIC is that operations like this, they're limited to 20 participants, 20 investors. And we've already got a few of those places taken up. So if you are interested, make sure you get those expressions of interest in, because uh, what we're hoping will happen is that those spaces will fill up pretty quickly. Catch you later.